in patch mode, you can see the velocity of your notes in the keypad here. Check this out. It changes green. For easy access to find different sounds, all you have to do is press these buttons here and they'll get you closer to the sound quickly. For instance, brass, it'll be all brass sounds. Guitar, the guitar and bass, as you go through it, you'll see different, different sounds. This is quite handy. You can divide the keyboard into two halves and have control. So for instance, if that was, you could have a bass. And, and you can change the temp uh, volume. And then you have a keyboard up there. And you would use that also in the, the phrase pad level. It's this over here. It's the level of this thing here. So for instance, you got, uh, say we're in uh, rhythm patterns. Here we go. Nice blue color. As you can see, uh, this is in rhythm pattern mode, so we're gonna make rhythms here. And you can see the corresponding uh, rhythms here, and I'll show you how it works, okay? So we'll hit this. And on the screen over there, it'll be selected, so that one will be playing. And we can switch. And then there'll be a slight variation, maybe a, an extra hi-hat. Let's try something really drastic. There you go, basic hi-hat, and as you can see, it's right there. Oh, and then back to here, like I was saying, phrase pad edit. Yeah, that's the, this is the phrase pad over here. Next, I'd like to show you over here. It's called Pattern Sequencer. And you'll, you'll be using this here, and you'll be able to see the correlation of things on this screen over here. So first we'll start with press play and we'll hear this is a stock one. It's called chiptune one. So right here you have a mixer. So which will show up over here all the parts. So you can turn up and down with the volume or with the, the wheel here part you like. Another neat feature is you press this mute button right here and it'll show you all of them and you can mute them all. There you go. So now that's just the drums playing. The drums is on eight. And you can unmute them. There you go. Now they're unmuted. It's not blinking anymore. Another fun feature that I've found on the on the Juno DVS is this tab function. This is pretty cool. So you got a song and you want to change the tempo. You just tap this, the tempo you want. Say so you want a little faster. take you through two things here we got split mode now split mode okay we're just gonna stop what we were farting around with before okay there's split mode and the volume controls for that are right here lower and upper so lower is where the bass guitar is right there upper is where the piano is so you got the piano there's a the bass that's right off and now it's full blast that's the piano. See? There you go. So those are connected right there. Now you can go in and you can change those sounds as well. This is so where you see how there's a square around it? That means that that's what you're editing. So if I go to say orchestra here, boom, there it is. Now it's a string. Now you can go to these arrows over here. 
and that'll move it over. Now we're in the base section, so we could change that. So maybe we want to change it to let's change it to brass, just for the hell of it. There you go. Next is dual mode, which is where you can have two sounds playing at the same time. Again, so I'm controlling them here. These are the levels. And it's looking like uh, part two set to lower than part one. So there you go. So that's how you can control that. And you can also in there, as you can see, there's a square around that. That means you can edit that sound. Boom. So as you can see here, it says track seven, and that's a synth number 49. Now what's really cool, why, why you've selected that, you could be playing, so it's, it's on, right? It's just playing, so number seven is, you can see number seven, and then number seven is highlighted. Now you can go over to here to things like the cutoff filter, change it. really cool so you want to make really electronic -y stuff yeah. also set the attack and also the release how to save something so you're gonna go up to here and it says right And that's the name that it was. So if you want to rename it, you can use the controller over here. Blah, 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 change the letters. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to say Flectro. And I'm just going to be. I'm going to press Enter. Now I'll give you a choice of user places to put it. These are places that nothing has been used yet. It just is it's blank. So you press. And it tells you right there, press enter. So you press enter. So are you sure? Okay, then you're gonna have to take the arrows over here. Where are they? Where are the arrows? That arrow. That'll put it onto the so it darkens out the okay. And you press enter. Boom. Now it's writing it. So now the user one is Flectro, which is that what I just uh now this is using the pattern sequencer first you go up to here pattern sequencer you have to select it so we're going to go select it it's already selected i'm just gonna go to pattern sequencer and what will happen will be over here you'll see pattern preset six we can change that all right take it off electro one i wonder what that is Let's take a listen Say you're not a big fan of those drums, you can actually go down and change the drums. And if you see, there's a little star in front of there. That little star in front of the electro means that we've edited it and it hasn't been saved. Now if you don't save it, it's gone forever in everything that you do. The loop function, basically, if you don't have it on, it'll it's just gonna play the four bars and then it'll stop. But if you have it on loop, boom, press play. It's just gonna keep on going around and around and around. There we go, loop function. How to use the erase feature on it. Uh, you select the channel that you want to, to use. We're going to use the drums because it's quite easy to hear. So you can see right here that's start that's 
bars right there. One, two, three, four. Okay, so so now I'm gonna go to a race. I'm on, I've selected the drums, which is eight, and it's highlighted. So check this out. So now it's erasing. As soon as I take it off, the drums will remain. Or I can erase some more. So now it's erasing and it's looping. So you can see that. 